up hey what's up people this is your boy rasta boy tv real island boy on twitter snapchat facebook instagram all of them same time happy happy valentine's day happy happy Va or happy happy single days if it should have put a ring on it oh 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 so happy single awareness day aka valentine's day for all the lovers and all the single people put your hands up oh 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 anyway in honor of valentine's day i'm drinking something red Oh, you know, see my outfit? I went out tonight and end up not really going out. But I was wearing a little bit of red tonight. Look at my outfit. A little um, hoodie with some, um, you know, some little, you know, red joggers and red little, sh you know, shoe, shoe, shoes. Don't look at my ball. Y'all are so nasty. Anyway, um, you know, joggers, it's sweatpants season. No, joggers do that to you. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I'm drinking on, I'm drinking on. Um, Cherry Rita. I went to look a store um, this week and they had a limited edition on sale. They had these on sale because I guess they don't really make this flavor anymore. I was kind of skeptical in buying this flavor because I love me. I like me the cherry. Sorry, I like me the strawberry, the mango, and the regular lime. So I bought it. it was two cases for ten dollars. You can't beat that. And each case brings I think twelve per case. So you can't really beat it. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. If it don't taste good, I can make me a little concussion with it. And I must say it tastes good. Strawberry, strawberry, strawb sorry, cherry arida. Cherry arida. Anyway, guess what it is? Other than it being Valentine's Day, aka single awareness day, it's haves and the have not. Yes, child, the heaven has not was on tonight, and I'm telling you, this is, there are, I can, every other episode, not every, not every other, every damn episode, it's getting more juicy. When I tell you, when I tell you that Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, this Tyler Perry had me over there gagging, clutching my invisible pearls, my, 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 my bracelets, my, my, my no pierced ears, um, teleport having me clutching my eye, my eyelashes that I don't even wear. Excuse me. Mm. That cherry arena is giving me everything right now. But anyway, this episode tonight didn't disappoint me either. Tyler Perry, I must say. What, what's the episode called? Hold on, let me find it. Um, the title. Title was called Pieces of the Puzzle. As much as I can stand Veronica Harrington, that bitch Veronica Harrington is giving me everything I wanted tonight episode. I need a nasty old good pull on my cocktail. Mm. Let me all know, agree or don't dis or disagree, I know I welcome everybody's opinion. Did y'all watch that episode and see Veronica dissecting and reading that police officer, the Asian one? I think his name was George. So, you know, Ver, um, so, you know I told you, well, not remember I told you. If y'all watching my recaps, y'all remember Veronica is representing Candace and her son, Jeffrey, because they're going to be there in deep, 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 deep water. Or doo doo, they would say. Or deep, deep shit. So. Veronica show up at the house and you know the, this policeman is acting all abrasive like ma'am you know you can't come on here as the active crime scene and she was like I am the attorney for the for the homeowner he was like well we have a search warrant he was like let she like let me talk to your boss you know cause Veronica she's been around in the courts and the and the justice system she knows how to make her way and get what she wants so anyway Veronica demanded to see who was in charge this Asian dude named George came. Um, it was like, oh, well, hey, Veronica. I guess they're familiar because you know Veronica has made her name known in the you know justice you know circuit. So the dude obviously know who Veronica was. Veronica, Veronica Harrington. But when I said Veronica read this Asian police whatever he is to filth, she was like, he was like, oh, um, we have a search warrant to. Uh, she was like, no, you don't. The um. My, 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 um, my, um, what's the name? Candace, Candace, her client is not the owner, is not the owner of the house anymore. The, the, the search warrant you have is for Candace, 
as the homeowner and so the 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 one you have is incorrect it should be for the bank who now owns the house she she was like what are you talking about she was like i have documentation here that states that as of i'm gonna collect um mr george police officer whatever he is or the man who's in charge of all this investigation like dude i got documentation here that states that um the bank or the bank now owns our whole position of this house so anything that you have found as of the time that the body was found and as the bank took possession of this house at a certain time is no longer admissible or will be admitted in court against my client i think the bank took ownership of the um the house at 5 p.m and when she asked the cop what time did they find the damn body in the backyard, they said 6 p.m. Trying to hesitate like he didn't want to tell Veronica what time he found the body. But Veronica's like, I can find it out myself. So that means that the body belongs to the bank. Because they are the one who owns the house. He was like, oh, Veronica, you are doing too much. You know, you, um, you, know, you know your client did this. She's like, do you have evidence that my client um, did this act? Nope. So um, anyway, Veronica... She threw her weight around and let the policeman have it. Make sure y'all moisturize your lips. Make sure y'all are keeping y'all lips moisturized throughout this winter season and every damn time. Anyway, so Veronica let the cop have it. You know, she went in talking about, I will see you in court. He was like, oh, by the way, what kind of car does your son drive? Because the key that was found with the body had a serial number. And when we ran it, it came up with your a Harrington name so that I think that car belongs to your son. She was like, okay, and he was she was like, um trying to insinuate you know in, insinuate that you know her son had some dealings and then she he but he's a, about to go have her son be picked up. She was like, okay, well go pick him up. He was also supposed to threaten to go pick up Candace. I'm like, dude is trying to threaten to go pick up Candace and Jeffrey. And I'm like, dude, where the hell is Candace and where the hell is Jeffrey? You don't even know these people whereabouts. Anyway, Veronica's calling him bluff, you know, like trying to bluff him because, you know, Veronica think that he, he's not going to be up to no good. Anyway, while Veronica's trying to leave the scene and go about her way, so she said it, she'll see the dude in court tomorrow to have everything thrown out or whatever. And um, all I saw against Candace and potentially Jeff for her client. Um, she walked into her, I guess, with her car. Jim is at her car. Before she walked out, the, 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 um, the police told her that... Um, she may be going over. They may be going over to Jim and um and Catherine house. I'm like, for what? I don't know, but we'll see how that part plays out. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, Jim was at her car waiting. Cause remember, Jim said to, to well told Catherine to apologize. Catherine didn't want to apologize. You know, Catherine is a like a stickler. She 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 not she don't budge. So Catherine didn't want to apologize to um Veronica for whatever. <laughs> so Jim is like, okay, I'll go apologize. She so Jim is there apologizing. She was like, "What are you apologizing for?" He was like, "For uh, what well, I know, what Catherine did, what she implied that you did, you didn't do it, she did, and I want to make sure that we're good because we want to make sure we're on the same page." Now I want to make sure we're on the same damn page, um, Veronica. You need to make sure that when the cops are ever come to you or store matches because once they start having an inc inconsistency in these stories Catherine, Veronica, David and Jim, your ass are in deep shit. That's all I got to say. Anyway, um we see all that eventual play out to see if Veronica will be on the same page with everybody else because she is being a bitch right now and I don't know. She was going to toe to toe with with um with toe to toe with um they sorry Jim because she wants to say oh she has all this stuff on Jim about stuff that he did and you know being blackmail and Jim is saying that she, he knows that she planned or killed Maggie he said he even called off the arm um, the hit off of her because David asked him and they was going back and forth throwing dabs at each other we know how they do and Veronica was not backing down from Jim and Jim wasn't backing down from Veronica y'all know how these two bitches are I don't care if Jim is a bitch too. Anyway, so let me fast forward. So remember, last episode ended where Candace and Benny got to where Hannah and Benny and, and Quincy Jr., whatever um, Candace's son's name is, Hotel Motel No Holiday Inn place. 
So they got to the place last episode, and what's her name? Hannah is losing it. She's like, remember when the, she was listening to the news? They said they found a key, which is um, the key belongs to Dave. Sorry, um, the key belongs to sorry Jeffrey, and the bracelet that Hannah made him was found with the body. So Anna was like, where's the bracelet at? She was, he was like, what bracelet? She was like, the bracelet that made you that, uh, that you've been wearing every damn day. She was like, I don't know. So Hannah is picking, two, put, well, putting two and two together and saying that the bracelet they found is also belonging to, guess who? Yes, Benny. Lord Jesus Christ. Hannah is losing her mind. She is snapping. Um, Quincy um, Jr. time to go shower because, you know, adults are talking. And you hear all the commotion going on. You know, Hannah is like, Quincy, I mean, not Quincy, um, Benny, tell me what's going on. And I need to know what's going on. You know, I'm tired of, you know, you making Candace making a fool of you and all that stuff. And I'm like, oh, Lord, I thought at one point Benny was going to, Benny was going to break down eventually and tell his mother what was actually going on. But he tell Hannah, everything's okay, blah, blah, blah. Rest assured, it, it's going to be handled. I don't know. But when I say that Hannah going back and forth with Benny and slapping Benny and Candace is there looking like, oh my God, this I'm, I'm thank God it's not me because you know she don't like she don't like um Candace and Candace don't like her. So I was glad that she wasn't attacking Candace because you know Candace and her will go back and forth. Candace is not afraid of her. But Benny is that one of the ones that, you know, he has manners and, he, you know, even though his mom was slapping the shit out of him, he was like, take it like a man. Anyway, while, while they were there and everything and, you know, Quincy Jones was getting into the shower on and, you know, taking his bath um, and Candace was in there with him and he telling Candace how he missed him. Can you remember, can you remember last time we saw Candace with Quincy Jr., if that's his real name, sorry? Was when he was in the hospital when she was fighting for custody for him. You know, I don't know Tyler Perry, but you made this this situation be the looks make it look really bad. Candace have not been with her son for like all of the seasons recently, and even a couple of seasons she barely with her child. Every time is the mother been taking care of the child, and all the time um what's her name? It was, all the time what's her name coming to play is when um something goes down with it being really messy where um Candace coming to play and see Quincy Jr. But anyway. She went to the bathroom to go because her phone rang. Guess who's calling her? Catherine. I guess Catherine is still paying her some type of paycheck every month. I don't know for what. I guess for the good deed that she helped her with throat or cancer trial and tribulation. She's still helping Hannah out. I guess she also gave or gifted Hannah a car. And I said she got to sell the car because she needs money. Catherine is willing to willing and able to help her, but she doesn't want any more money from Mrs. Cryer. Girl, I'm like, take it, girl. Take that damn money. Maybe blood money or dirty money or dirty money or messy money. But at least you got it without bribing or blackmailing anybody, um, Hannah. But Hannah is one of them one that has like, you know, she is like a, a stickler for, what are you going to call it? She's like, she don't like being in messy stuff or taking stuff that don't feel right. And she shouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Stand your ground, Hannah. Anyway... That girl, what's her name? Um, Quinetta. Quit, quit, Quinetta. Quit, Quinetta. Can't remember her damn name. Um, War. Um, War. Um, sorry, not War, but um, Quince's sister. I think her name is Quinetta. You know, I can't stand. I told her I can't stand her southern accent. It annoys the shit out of me. And she's still over White's apartment. Um, torching the shit out of White. White is going through withdrawals. You know, he's still. You know, going to that drug withdrawal thing. So he's, you know, going having this moment. And she and this dude over um um White's apartment driving it driving White insane. They found one of White's either bank statement or some kind of documentation that told them that White has more money than they even thought. And they're trying to clear everything about White's bank account. I don't know how, because you know, everything goes through the federal, you know, system and everything you can't just get money just like that, a lot of money like that. In one take, it takes a long time because they will get suspicious and it will shut it down. Anyway, this bitch was talking about she went a mind fucking a white dude, and then she's like, ah, oh, I can't do it. She and the dude gone on white bed, 
making out and stuff. Why is there a quickly texting Jeffrey to let Jeffrey know he's in trouble? But Jeffrey's over there at the but what you know the Venetian, whatever that name of that damn hotel is that everybody be at Erica's at a hotel. Um um Benny trying to Benny met Candace at the hotel. Um um now David's of meeting Erica at the hotel. Candace and and and, and Jeff was over at the hotel um waiting for Veronica. Everybody meets at this damn Venetian, whatever hotel it is. So anyway Jeffrey's at a hotel chillaxing while, you know, his boo, Justin, the police officer, is on his way. So, officer comes in and starts telling Jeffrey how all this stuff about how Jeffrey made him feel and all this. So, I'm like, wait up. So, this officer is now giving me the, the, the feeling that he's not only buy or DL, you know, they love to say they're DL on the down low, but he seemed like he's liking this. It's like he's into Jeffrey. To me, he's, he's liking Jeffrey the way I'm feeling. He's not only, you know, in it for the sex and whatever. I'm like, first of all, who's doing who? Not my business, but the way how Mr. Officer's going on, it's like he likes to be, um, he likes when, you know, you know, Jeffrey time up and handcuff and stuff. Probably, you know, anyway, I'm not going into all of that. But anyway, He's falling for Jeffrey in a little bit. I think he's like having feelings with Jeffrey. He says helping Jeffrey not because um, of he just want to help Jeffrey because because Jeffrey has the whole thing over his head that he can tell his wife or whatever on him. But he's helping Jeffrey because he really wants to help him. I'm like, mm -hmm. police officer Justin, really? Mm -hmm. I got one eye on you, Mr. Officer. Anyway, he tells Jeffrey to get naked because he wants to mess with Jeffrey. You know, he loves that little black chocolate of his. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, moving right along. So, Jim got home finally. Jim got home and telling, you know, when he got home, Kathy was on the phone with, um, with um, Hannah still. You know, you know, Hannah was telling, you know, said she wanted money and she's going to sell the car, blah, blah, blah. And Kathy was trying to help her. When is she, um, when Jim storming and saying, get all the phone. And, you know, Hannah was like, what's going on? What's going on over there? And, you know, the phone got hang up because I think he, Jim, ha um, hit the phone out of Catherine's hand and the phone got hung up. But, um, Hannah was like, well, she don't know what's when, if it found a hang up because it fell or it was something why the phone hang up. But anyway, enough of that. Jim saying, girl, we need to get a store show because the cops are on their way over here. He was like, why? Because he said, like, I don't know, but um, Veronica told me they were on the way over here. He was like, oh, so you talked to that bitch. He was like, yes, I want to go talk to her. And for some reason, she said me that the cops are on the way over here. I'm like, oh, they got to be in some deep shit. I don't know why the cops are on their way over to Jim and, and Catherine house, but I know it's nothing good. I don't believe it's nothing good. I don't know what's going on, but it's really getting bad. I mean, bad as in the fact that, um, I mean, bad as in the fact that, um, now, Jim and, and, and Jim and Catherine have kept in their house. The cops are probably, probably going to be looking for, what's her name? Candace and also um, Jeffrey. And um, while um, David and Eric over there having a good old Valentine's Day hookup. Child, I'm telling you that next is going to be juicy. Guess who Hannah is trying to meet up with? She's trying to meet up with War. To t you know, War is like a son to her. You know, War, um, Candace and Benny grew together. They're like, they were like close. So, you know, I guess um, um, Hannah got word that, you know, War is out. So she's going to meet up with War. I don't know how she found War in wherever hood he live in. But, um, Hannah's going to meet up with War next episode. Um... I see that Justin, the police, and and um, Jeffrey finally show up at um, finally show up over the um, apartment that Wyatt is at, and for some reason a poli um, police officer, Justin, whatever you want to call him, and Jeffrey's having a tussle over. Before that, I think um, I don't know if Wyatt grabbed him or touched him kind of way that Justin got jealous. But I'm telling you, next week, please make sure you tune in and watch on TV. Tuesday nights, set your DVR if you're gonna be out of town or out of or out of out, you know out of the house for whatever time, and make sure y'all watch it because it's gonna be juicy next week. I cannot wait. Make sure you also before going any further, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube by clicking the button up top there, 
and you get your emails when I post new videos. And also, let me all know what you thought about tonight's episode. Please sound off in the comment section. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Real Island Boy Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. All of them at the same time. I'm gone. Good night. Bye.